I think you need it weird. You can't ruin his intro. Fuck you, Artemis. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, so hard. Shit, my bad dog! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Unsolicited Opinions <laughs> Podcast. That was my co-host, Artemis Ara, and with me as always is also our boss, Dr. Evil. Uh, Your and... boss. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't ruin the illusion, okay? Four seconds in. <laughs> <laughs> With us today is, of course, our regular guest, uh, Plippy, but we also have a special guest. We have Zombie Neath! Woo-hoo. Hello! <laughs> um, yeah. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit off today, because I may logic on things that I've never logiced on before, because I have a fever. So. How is that different from every week? <laughs> Hello, world. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> and I'm sipping rum while I do it, talking to people on the internet on a Friday a night, banana. like all the cool children do. Plippy, Plippy uh, has, also has a fever, so if he says unexplainable things, this is why. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the rum. <laughs> so, At least this podcast, he actually, you know, has a reason. Yeah. Oh, God damn. We got, we, it's been a crazy week. At least I think so, because, you know, I've been paying attention for once. So. We keep thinking we're going to run out of psychotic topics, and we don't, and it's been over a year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Thankful, and yet we're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we got we got public masturbation being allowed in Italy. We got um, Shia. LaBeouf, I'm on the fence about that one. Shia LaBeouf tanking his career even more than he was uh, possible. <laughs> what was left? We got the British considering con- introducing burkas as a part of their. Uh, uniform. Mm-hmm. Lace uniform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so where do you guys want to start? Because we got a bunch of things. I know Artemis wanted to talk about the PS4. Because he's... A um, oh, yeah, and the uh, the um, the Apple stuff. Alright, so there's been tech <laughs> re- there have been tech releases in the, in the last couple of days, and both of them have been kind of silly. Um... First of all, um, Sony decided, okay, we're going to release two new versions of the PS4. The Slim, which everybody knew was coming anyway because they always release a Slim version of the regular console to, to save money and and just because. It, it generally does better. <laughs> their, their consoles generally do better in sales on the Slim than they do on the regular version eventually. So, no surprises there. But then they decided to release the Pro, which had leaked forever, and everybody knew the majority of it about before they ever actually, you know, officially announced it. The The problem with the thing is uh, if you don't have a PS4, it's worth buying, but if you have one, it's not. So, so I get every software yeah. update, every, sorry, every hardware update ever. E- yeah. Are it's, they taking the Are they taking the Apple approach where the actual system, despite being perfectly fine, self sabotages? So you have to buy the new one if you want to keep using the app. No, 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 no. Ba- basically, <laughs> all right. The reason why it's silly is they're they're making this so it's like, oh, it's gonna make games better. What about the people who already bought bought a PS4? Oh, they're gonna work just as well on your old PS4. So why are you releasing the new one? So why are you releasing the new? one? <laughs> yeah. Like, the only reason to get this thing is if you have an expensive-ass 4K television to play the stuff on. So... Nah. <laughs> and the people who... Yeah. And the people who are really into that stuff are playing on PC anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I've already got so, a and my TV is okay. So it's really not worth it. Yeah. Online. So it's yeah. it's really not worth it unless you... You know, you have a 4K TV and yeah. you really, really, really care about graphics to that point and you really, really care about um, that, but it's, you know, to everybody yeah. else, it's just going to be like nothing changed. Well, if you really care about, you know, resolution and clarity of image, uh, last time I updated, because uh, I this TV I got right now, I actually uh, updated it purely for console play. 
I bought it about How a month close ago. are people about seeing to the TVs where 4K uh, is an issue? Yeah, but I'm just saying yeah. that when I actually uh, updated it, it was a week after the Xbox 360 came out, and uh, it's still the same TV. Yeah. 1080 is enough for it in there, Drew. Like, 4K TVs here... 1080 is enough. Do you see the pixels? No. Do you don't need a 4K TV? Simple. It, it's like when <laughs> HDTVs first came out and everything was a uh, HDTV capable, but nobody was going to pay the prices. Like uh, I'm yeah. sure in like five years, 4K TVs are going to be like hella cheaper, and this will matter. But by then, there will be a new kind of TV out that's better than 4K. We'll have probably like 8K or some shit. Yeah, but it'll be the one that sticks because it was the same thing with uh, Blu-ray and HD DVD. Yeah. It's like it's what much formats. Just which which else. the new console doesn't have Blu-ray support apparently. Jesus, um, are you so, fucking kidding me? Are are they uh, morons? <laughs> I don't think they're going to sell all that well. I think it's shot in the dark by Sony. Uh, um, the Slims will sell. The regular PS4s will probably still sell. It's it's whatever. It, it would it would have been different if like everything about the specs of the systems hadn't been leaked so heavily that everybody's known about them for months. But they didn't have any really surprises at the thing. Hmm. <coughs> well, it's just that. Been, it's if you just don't have like, a PS4, then get a Pro. Um, I don't have a PS4, and I don't really want to spend money on another console. All my gaming at this point is on my PC, and my Xbox One is a WWE 2K416 and a Netflix machine so at the moment. So yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's that's with all the you know previous consoles. Oh, true. That, that's like... the only thing I use them for now is fucking is fucking streaming. Also, the um, you know the Connect. Uh, people hate the Connect. I love the new one because it uh, it works as a remote control, and I've not seen my remote control for about a year and a half, and it's great because I can just yell at my TV now. <laughs> well, you do that anyway, and it doesn't fucking help. Yeah, if... but I keep I keep normally I keep yelling at it. Why don't you love me? And these <laughs> yeah. days I can at least yell <laughs> volume up, and it does something to respond. So you know, it's good. It's good. Yeah, but and it... then yeah, sorry, Artemis. But but then the second thing is Apple. Apple decided to I put up their new iPhone. That gave normies a reason to not buy their shit anymore. They've streamlined it, guys. They've streamlined it to Finally. a single goddamn port. A single. Oh. They keep taking off parts of their electronics and calling that a feature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First, like first it was USBs, and and now it's this shit. Yeah, but the the thing is, the the new headset, wireless headset crap they're using is proprietary. Yeah, it's not using Bluetooth. Yeah, like, so you have to buy their headphones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the comp the company that spent four billion dollars buying Beats by Dre removed <laughs> their headset connector. <laughs> they I not totally forgot they, just they bought Beats. Probably just a coincidence. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's a really expensive headphones you bought. You're going to go and buy them again. Yeah, well done, Apple. Real clever. Mm-hmm. And the ones that it comes with, like, look super easy to lose. Yeah, that's by design. I bet you if you lose one, you have to buy two to replace them. You can't just buy one. I bet you they're a paired set. But hey, who's the current guy in charge of Apple? Uh, Cook, isn't it? Yeah, that's the guy in charge. Tim uh, Cook. Yeah, yeah, Tim, Tim Cook. Cook. Yeah. Yeah, he's gay, guys. We, we can't criticize. He, he's, he's. Yeah, that's why they hired him. I do him. have an iPod, but it was bought as a gift in my defense, and it still has the earphone jack, so I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my biggest complaint, though. I've had uh, three iPods and I had an iPhone. The first thing to go is the jack every single time. Oh God. Yeah. My, I've got I've got an iPod. I've got an iPod 2. Currently that's still got the uh, stand so it still works for my audiobooks and stuff. It still yeah. works just fine. But the audio jack has not worked for about 10 years. Oh, so the rest of the device is fine. It's just the jack instead. I still use my fucking Creative Zen. For audiobooks. That's the only thing that I use when I'm out walking. Every six I haven't seen generation. one in ages. You've still got one. Yeah, and it still yes. fucking works. It, it's it's huh. continuing this weird trend where I think 
Apple doesn't know what to do Shit, anymore. Shit, you used to be built to last. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're just trying to remain hipster. That's that's it. That's, yeah. that's like, they don't it. have anything left. It's like... Every successive generation of it. Apple product is never fucking innovative. It's just, mm-hmm. oh, well, you need to get this one so you have the latest iOS so you yeah, can so you get stay all the in... shitty apps and things and all that and connectivity and all that bollocks. It's like what yeah. uh, I, Xbox caught on with this with Microsoft, Microsoft caught on some with X, caught onto this with Xbox. As long as they keep you in the ecosystem, that's all the cloud and all that shit's for. Mm-hmm. Is you're still within the system. And let's be honest, Apple have not come up with a good idea since the iPod yeah, touch. They don't innovate, they just extort more money from you by, yeah. s- by holding the fucking it's iOS really extortion because you don't have to buy their products. Oh, true, true. Well, but this is why... Invested, though. That's a problem with it. If, if my iPod died, I, I wouldn't buy Apple products. Screw that for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> it, it, uh, it, Apple it, pies it, was beneath... Yep. It comes at a point where you just have to go. No, you know I kind of feel like a hoe for buying this, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's it's. I I don't think I've bought an Apple product at all, ever. So I'm no. kind of proud I don't of think I bought an Apple product. They opened an Apple store near where I live a couple of years back, and every time I walk past it, I still feel dirty. Actually, I will be completely honest about this. I actually do enjoy Apple products to use. I don't like the way that they operate. But well, that's what put me off as a business. I like that the, the our Apple store in Sutton Coldfield is called Stormfront. <laughs> yes! When I lived in Litchfield, that was that, I was, that was when I first noticed. You know, the I saw Stormfront. the shop name, I was like, oh shit, run! <laughs> <laughs> No, when I first saw Stormfront, I actually went home and walked in, and I was so Please disappointed. Don't kill me. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I had my gooseneck boots on. I had everything going for me. I had my little red armband. Hey, you, you want to talk about this problem? Tell Maybe them about let it. Let me be an honorary Aryan because I am half white and I've got a job and stuff. Please. Do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to troll Black Lives Matter, tell them about that. And, and organize a protest there, and just go there with a <laughs> camera and just just take pictures of it. Apple <laughs> white supremacist <laughs> branches. It's a recruitment. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you know they won't. You know they won't research it. They won't look at it. Oh, I know. That's what makes it so beautiful. Stone front on the shop windows. Let's raise some hell, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Hey, uh, I'd like to put when we're talking about when we're talking about. the headphone jack is racist. <laughs> The headphone jack boot, I think you're fine. Oh! But can I just say, when I went into Stormfront, I thought I found my, I thought I found my people, and you know what? A bit rude to me. Did not oh. need to hear that kind of stuff. I... <laughs> uh... Yeah, you guys, you guys want to talk about the 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 BLM stuff? Because every every time I say BLM, it feels like I'm actually saying some sort of abbreviation for bowel movement. And well, it feels like it's what's, what's the difference, it? really? <laughs> well, so, so far, from what I've said, since Black Lives Matter have hit the British shores, here's been the complete list of things they've done. Annoy other ethnic minorities by not allowing them to do their jobs, mm-hmm. by screaming, who streets are streets, with, quite interestingly, uh, a man who I think... Uh, of uh, Arabian descent sitting there looking at the camera like, get these fucking people away what from me. What the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and... It's my street, get off the fucking road. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, out of out of all the countries that they could have taken, taken a hold of... Yeah, root in. The UK, the country that actually fought against slavery. <laughs> One of the few yeah, countries okay, that, that actually... Tr- did something to abolish did you, slavery. Did you see the fucking climate change video? Oh yeah. Where they were like, oh, they, they no. touched on the fact that it's it's due to being impoverished. It's a poor people thing, and then they yeah. went, well yeah, but they're well, they're mostly black poor people, so it's, no, it's a not. racist problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> oh, shut up, you idiot. And, and what makes it what makes it worse is I probably think I can get into. Like an hour long fist fight with the entire British police force and only get a stern talking to. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you saw that fucking clip where they're being fucking chased around by a loony. The guy with the machete. <laughs> and they're all just I'm sorry, that dude would get dropped to you yeah. no matter what the race. Fucking shoot him in the face. Why are you running around? The American guy was like, oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> 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 that motherfucker had a machete, and everybody just looked around like, oh, yeah. Even Black Lives Matter wouldn't go for that dude. No. <laughs> he Ridiculous. came at the cop with a machete. Like a small yeah. army of Screaming police officers being only be one. chased around by a guy with a machete. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shoot this fucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, the whole thing is just that so far they've had the things of, as I said, like annoying other ethnic minorities oh. while wearing, ex- while living in the most expensive city in Britain to live, wearing mm-hmm. extremely noticeably nice clothes. Yeah. Uh, they're the all white. No, 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 they were actually black. Brown. They were black. Yeah, yeah the, the the ones that were there were black. The, Lying the, in the... front of trams and yes, the, general no. dickheadery. But this latest one was all just a bunch of fucking white hippies trying to stop people getting on their airplanes. It seems yeah. like the black. <laughs> it seems like the black hipsters just thought, you know what? Let let's have let's have the fucking let's have the white people be stupid for once. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Brad did? I was like, you know what? I think I can trick some white people to to, just, to lay on an aircraft. <laughs> <No, laughs> <laughs> run away. If, if, oh God, this is it. I wish I was a black hipster now, because I'd basically be sitting there going, I bet I can get these fuckers to do all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> yeah, well, this is it. I want to infiltrate, but I wouldn't be able to keep up the facade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'd i be laughing way too hard. <laughs> I'll come with you. I'll come with you. We'll see if we can join I would <laughs> I would trick them into wearing blackface. Oh, oh, God. oh and take them I'd do it. That would, that would be my good. main oh, goal. God. Yes, please, let's do it. Please do it. Please oh, do God. it. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, <laughs> no, by the way, by the way, Sean King has already done that. Sean King oh, has already God. done that. So. No, 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 he hasn't officially wore blackface. He just, no, no, he got, just, he just got a fade and ate some fried Wait, chicken. Really not. Um, yeah. If you, if you want to... You want to want to trick Black Lives Matter into the whole blackface thing? Tell them that spray tans are essentially blackface. <laughs> they will invade Jordy Shore. They'll oh, invade no. Newcastle. Fuck. I've sussed it. I've sussed it. Is I've, I've sussed it. I've sussed it. Here's what we do. You and I join. We you and I join, and we start a, a public campaign to get all these people to sit together. And keep in mind, these have to be British people, not Americans. Mm-hmm. We put up a giant scream. We play Django Unchained. Oh. <laughs> and what we do is every now and then we point at the screen, look at the whiteies in the audience, and just shake our heads sternly at them. There <laughs> 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 we go, we're doing our bit for activism. Oh yeah. Oh, God. It'll be I exactly can as you while we watch a Quentin Tarantino <laughs> <laughs> Even Tim's character who frees them and. Yeah, but it, it seems mm-hmm. it seems like that that fucking movement doesn't really have traction within any fucking minority groups anymore, or any fucking minority. Um, no, no, no Dave Chappelle so. made fun of them. Yeah, it only has traction among the sort of people that want to fucking lament and parade fucking victimhood around and say fucking woe is me. Yeah, so and, uh, no, of course it doesn't resonate with most people because we all go to fucking work. Yeah, and- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nobody, nobody like protests of Black Lives Matter that has jobs, which is probably why they're looting places. Yeah. The other thing I actually, my most amazing person that I've noticed this week is a chap called Owen Jones. Are you aware of him? Oh, is uh... this the guy that wrote a book about saying how amazing it was to get cocked? Mm, might as well be. No. Um, <laughs> oh, am I thinking of the wrong Owen? <laughs> oh, Owen, Owen Jones was a chap. Uh, I think you remember him. If you keep up with uh, BBC News, when the Orlando shooting happened, he was the guy that stormed off when they were trying to yes, cover it. Yes, that's the same guy. Is it the same guy? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, he was. He wrote about how people are mean to uh, the lower classes. Um, mm. when when we take the piss out of chavs, which isn't true, because you can be poor and not be a fucking chav. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you know what? Yeah. what, what I think when I saw a TV show on Chavs, I think the first thing, it's like it came up on the screen and goes, what is a Chav? And the first person to come up just says, it's a white person with no taste. It's it's like, That's you can also be broad. you can also be a black a black person and not be a thug. It's Correct. It's, it's, it's the same fucking thing. You don't yeah. have to, you don't have to follow everybody in your local neighborhood into whatever they do. That's what lemmings do. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if, if everyone was running out on the on the airport runways and blocking them, would you do it too? It's the new. Would you jump off a bridge? Oh, it's yeah. ridiculous. I don't there even was... understand why that's not. That wasn't just an immediately an arrestable thing. Like you're fucking trespassing. Yeah. You're yeah, endangering people. Running. Get the fuck out. What are you doing? Yeah. Had it been? Had it been? Had it been yourself. anybody? Uh, any other type of organization had it been some sort of um environmental organ organization that had done it because of the expansion of the of the airport mm. then they would have knocked those fuckers down real fast but because yeah. it's blm yeah yeah. Well, we don't want to appear racist. You know, it's racist not arresting them because yeah. they're oh, It was a bunch of fucking white hippies anyway. Fucking yeah. get them moved. Get them moved. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, get on the I... fucking runway, you little twat. <laughs> That's what I always say is like, these people are saying the street and whose streets are streets, whose streets are streets, and they stand and they're standing there in Britain. No, actually, they... we all pay fucking council tax, so I think you'll yeah, find it's partially know. mine. You can fuck off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was it was all this stuff, and I was I was just looking at it, just going, why are you not being dragged off, you goddamn hippie? Look at you. Oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna it, change it's, myself it's just to just the kind of thing, Bring yeah. out the fire hose. <laughs> no, don't do. That. No, that's the thing. That's hey, the thing I've always that? said about even the Black Lives Matter protesters here. The cops never do anything to the protesters. If they're they gonna chain do. themselves to the road, then just fucking stock up an eggs and fucking egg them all day. You know, you know why the cops oh, are yeah. not doing anything? <laughs> because most of these fuckers are rich, privileged kids that 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 are no. Doing it's this because shit. they know that's what they want. Yeah. They yeah. want the cops to act ridiculous so they can point a finger and say, oh, look well, at the cops yeah. being ridiculous. And then the cops are just like, we're just going to let you guys tire yourself out yeah, yeah, and yeah, walk yeah, away, yeah. and yeah. they don't know what to do. Yeah, the, original, so yeah, the original protesters in, in Baltimore and in, in um, oh, Jesus Christ, where was it? Uh, yeah, Ferguson. Ferguson, Ferguson. yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, those were basically the local community but where blm has has taken off as of late is is in colleges with rich privileged uh, white kids doing the, the fucking thing and i bet my ass that most of the protesters in the uk are rich yeah yes more little fucking toffee nosed little uni twats who yeah. think they know everything <laughs> yeah well it was the same thing it was like when they, when you actually found, when they actually did have some black people to go out and do it i was just there going Look at your clothes. You dress better than me when I'm actually going out, and you're protesting. Yeah. And you've still Ooh, look, got. A... I'm one of you people. No, you're not. Fuck off. And you've got a South. <laughs> you live in London, and you've got a South African Af... accent, which tells me you're at least a second generation, at, at most a second generation person. Like your parents moved and you were born here, but you've still got the thick. You still got the twang of your accent. But you live in London, which tells me you're wealthy, because living in London, even in small yeah. accommodation, costs a flipping fortune. Even the shit parts of London are expensive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I think London is the most expensive city in in the world. No, New York. New York, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, okay, so you have New York, London, Probably and then maybe there. the city I live in also. The landlords are piss because you think they can charge people like £1,000 a month for a fucking cupboard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, that's that's we a nice have deal in New York. Nothing to lose but our Gucci chains. <laughs> nice one, sister. And the best part is, you've you've got the government coming around to your cupboard, and and if you've got a shoebox in the corner of your cupboard, they go, "Is that a second bedroom?" Yes. <laughs> 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 gonna have to tax you extra for that one if you want to keep it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to have someone else live in there. Oh God. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm just saying that this right now the Spanish Pyrenees I'm going fuck big cities Pyrenees. are yeah. they soggy? Uh, <coughs> maybe I don't know 
maybe when I'm there, uh, you I know, just the effect in the I have. Bomb fuck nowhere where fucking BLM can't reach me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I live in Bumblefuck nowhere. I, I, the closest town to me is Telford, and the second one is Birmingham. And one time I went through Birmingham city centre, and I, and I was just like, oh, oh my god. So- Horribly got... busy, isn't it? Don't you just hate it? Yeah. At one side, I've got a bunch of Muslims trying to recruit me or tell me how oh. crap I am. On the yeah. other side, I've got a bunch of Christians telling me how crap and everything oh, I yeah. am. Oh, yeah. Everyone's peddling their god faggotry. You can't fucking move because yeah. there's a person like. <laughs> and I used to be that guy, but I was like going, Is there a single white religious person here? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to sound like a supremacist here, but I'm Jesus Christ. Christ. like got it about. Well, so you, you, you have to look for him. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it's just, <laughs> I was looking around just going, is there one person that's going to yell at me that's actually, oh good, there's a guy outside the library, the, the old vicar that's crying about sin all the time. At least he's one of the people. <laughs> you have ten minutes to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> he's not come after me. <laughs> oh... Yeah. No, I'm, By I'm the way, I understand Ricky Jarvis here. I've actually been to Birmingham regularly, but um, yeah, that's what it's like. <laughs> well, the shops lovely. I love Birmingham per oh, se. Yeah, yeah like, I love Birmingham. I fucking yeah. hate the crowd, the constantly crowded nature of Birmingham, and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and shoving wankers on the trains. <laughs> we got another British person. Tarson's here. Hey, Tarson. Hi. Thrilled yeah. as ever to hear from us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder where that echo is coming from. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I mean, the whole the whole fucking identity. That's that's my problem. That's why I got pissed off at. at even though I'm I'm not an American, I do think that the the American the American politics affects us more than than um, than the Americans realize when it comes to Europe, at least. So yeah, that's I was, why I got. Like, oh, we know. Yeah. Like I, no, it wasn't until that I didn't realize how much the um, identity politics thing was happening until say about three years ago when I ran into someone yeah. over it, someone who I was friends with. She was completely into the whole new, you know, intersectional feminist thing, and I didn't know until I had an opinion about it. Yeah. And the oh. next thing I know, she's blocked. She, we have an argument on the Facebook back when I had one. Oh God. And we were arguing. It was just going in circles all the whole time. It's like you're changing the subject so much for me here. I can't keep up. We're trying to keep focused on, you know, men may have some problems too, and I'm not fucking MRI. Screw that shit. For, screw that noise. But it's just that men have some problems and women have their problems. And I was trying to do that. And she was basically just bringing up all these things of, you know, yeah. men, are you, men are being manipulative. Are you saying that men can't be manipulative? And I said, no, I think both genders can be manipulative. But push comes to show. Oh, okay. What happened was, she deleted all her comments. Oh, I'm going to finish in 30 seconds. She deleted all her <laughs> comments. She deleted all her comments and then blocked me on Facebook with a, like three pages of telling me what piece of shit I am. Yeah. So all I'm left with was a um, a uh, meme on Facebook with me apparently just talking to myself. <laughs> no, it, it's okay. <laughs> the entire basis of people like that is a way to subjugate other people. Yeah. It's uh, I've I've talked about it. Before. It was something I talked about a lot on the show before mm-hmm. we really got any stream. It's the new nobles. That's what they want to make. They want to make a new set of nobles. And new peasants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but what really pissed me off is is the fact that that uh, Bernie Sanders thought is kind of fell into that because he was originally talking about cl- uh, basically Actual economical issues. classes. He was talking yeah. about economical classes, and that's 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 what needs to be addressed. That's what the left well, all, used all to be was about. Not because he sold out. He got his beach house and his expensive car, and he's hiding, <laughs> which I yeah. don't blame him after how many bodies Hillary has dropped, most likely. Yeah, I mean, there were... The, 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 that's just the thing. And it, and it really... <laughs> It really came to light because I, I read uh, an article uh, today, actually. Um, 
I can't remember which site it was on, but it was basically a, a guy who who had dated feminists in the past, but now decided enough was enough. He wasn't gonna date feminists anymore. Religion. Yeah, and the the amount of hate he got. On what in the comment section, and, and it wasn't it like, wasn't even it wasn't even hate as against no, his fucking no. arguments. It was he should his have appearance. Every, no, dude, stop it. He should have expected every that bit of the hate that came his way. Completely predictable. Yes, of That's course, the it's most predictable. predictable fucking shit on the planet. Because if you say <laughs> anything anti-feminist, <laughs> they will literally Rob try and hound you. Dangerous. Hashtag and they fucking cried about it all day. Yeah, oh, you're talking about a group of people who <laughs> bullied a guy who made shelters for men. Yeah, to suicide. So they closed and bullied him until he killed himself. Until he killed himself. Yeah. You you can't. No, he. I I don't think he may have thought he was going to get as much hate as he got. Mm. But come on, well, you, you'd you have to be a fucking retard point. to not think that people <laughs> weren't going. I'm surprised that nobody tried to kill him. Yeah, yeah and I, and I got shit. I got shit on uh, Twitter this week because I I took MRA I, I took uh, MRA into defense when I said that that I think a lot of their fucking arguments and a lot of their concerns are valid. And they need to be talked about, and then take down MRAs went after me, which was oh, funny. Oh, that's take down MRAs. <laughs> take down MRAs is, is has absolutely nothing better to do. No, I know. Make Anybody shitty that arguments on the internet that make no sense. For yeah. God's sake. And I got egalitarian in fucking quotation marks. Uh, yeah, like, no, I ignored. No. I ignored that dude. Until he said, "Like I have time for MRAs," and I'm like, "Your your your name is 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 take down MRAs." Yeah, you're, you're talking about MRAs. Your entire basis for it's, being on Twitter is MRAs. Your whole I basis get... for being. <laughs> hey guys, Never a response. I didn't even get blocked. Dentra. I just got ignored. Like I'm going to pretend like you didn't state the most yeah. obvious fucking thing on the planet. Hey guys, I'm just saying that even though my Twitter account is called Race War Now and my handle is <laughs> I'm totally free to talk about Israel issues. You uh, know, taking their side for a change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't have time for you Jews. Oh god, yeah. It's just it's just it it's so fucking apparent that uh, people like that are 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 Anti, and I, I wouldn't even call them anti men. I'm, I'm, I, they're anti traditionalist male roles, but they don't understand that those male roles are there for a fucking reason. Okay, it, it's it's not because some a group of men got together at the uh, time immemorial. Jan's raging out again. And, and <laughs> what? Fuck you, you no, have no, no, I'm just gonna say, I'm not going to say. I, I have saying... energy. I, I I may have a fever and I may be tired, <laughs> Jen, but I still Jen, have energy. Counterclockwise. But yeah, uh, I will agree with you. As so, I've said before on this show multiple times, as I was part of the atheist community back when the atheism plus bullshit happened, the same thing sort of like, like clicked survivor. on. Yeah, the thing that clicked on in my head was like, you're not actually skeptics or atheists. You're just anti-Christians and anti-Westerners. You don't yeah. really. You don't really, you don't really hate religion. You're just against Christianity because when you started saying, "Hey guys, at our atheist conferences, we're not going to allow any kind of um, back talk towards Muslims," I thought, "Um, what's going on, guys?" Yeah, I, I, I had, I had basically jettisoned myself from that group way before that shit started to happen. Mm. I actually stopped commenting, but I kept, I was part of the slime pit for a while. But uh, for the most part, I basically stopped talking, but I kept an eye out, and it was like, holy shit, what is going on? I I walked away from it, I and mean, I started to see um, when Elevator when Elevator Gate, Gate happened. That oh, was, yes. That was my, yeah, um, I'm walking away, I'm still an atheist, but um, some, some of y'all need personal reflection. 
and, yes. and I'm not a good enough psychologist to fix some of y'all, so I'm going <laughs> to... I was just thinking, really, Rebecca Watson is your unstoppable hottie? Is this what's going on? <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, would you God. like to come up to this. my room for coffee? You're a monster! <laughs> like that... Now here is the thing: was like, I keep I maintain this with Rebecca Watson. She was quite happy being the sexy girl when she was pretty much the most attractive girl in that group. Did you see the rest of them? Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. That was a lot. What to be asked out for coffee? Yeah, but what happened was is that more attractive women than her started turning up. Yeah. Blah, blah. yeah. And then <laughs> yeah, she went kind of. She didn't. She didn't like the fact that Cara Santa Maria started joining that that group at all. Jacqueline Glenn. She didn't like Jacqueline Glenn and her are kind yeah. of in a funny way are ideologically should be compatible. But here's the problem. Jacqueline Jen guys fancy and Rebecca Watson men do not. Yeah. So therefore they cannot be on the same side in crazy bizarro world that we live in. Yeah. It's just well, it, that it's... that's because they're women and they don't get along. Yeah. Is it true, women? I've always seen this a bit of an observation, but do women generally seem to hate each other in a weird it's way? Been, it's been recently proven that guys Female guys get over their differences with each other. More. It is more intense, I think. Yeah, okay. there, there, was, um, there, was a, there was a study done, uh, or um, a report on a study released yeah. in July mm-hmm. about um, basically how men use competition and use um, physical exercise as a way of getting over conflicts. Mm. And they get over the conflicts easier. That's that's why I... And oh, I grew, yeah. I, I grew I up... I can hold a grudge for life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah here's, here's the thing. I grew up when that kind of bullshit started happening in schools. And I was, I was a bully victim. We all know... Basically, that. Yeah, yeah. It's only uh, because you carried a mannequin around with you at school. Shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> 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 fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, no, the, it was the, quite romantic. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I noticed. <laughs> I, I noticed when they they started to remove the the competitiveness in the school system, they started yeah. to ban competitive behavior. Uh, banned sports days and so on in uh, elementary school. And bullies the, started behaving worse. Yes, the, yeah. the 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 bullying got worse, and not just from the from from the guys, but also from the girls. I noticed that personally that that this was happening, and and I've always said that's why I, I'm in Christina Hoff Somers' corner when it comes to this. I think that actually this type of rough and tumble play as she calls it mm. and competitive behavior it helps establish social order among mm. boys i'm not mm. saying it would completely cut out the bullying I, uh, no. people, I think kids I think... kids are fucking cruel let's yeah. let's face it kids yeah. are cruel. Okay. i think i would like to point to go with a little bit of anecdotal shit here when i was 17 i was dating this girl called claire keep on this i was 17 this would have been in the 90s i'm an old old man and she actually said to me the difference between boys and girls, and I was listening to her thesis on it. And she said the difference is, it's like being a girl. It's so strange because we're nice to each other, that but we're so shitty to each other behind each other's back. But boys will insult each other to their face. And still, still be cool to each other. Yeah, yeah and, and still pat each other on the back. And even if they have a fight, like a physical fight, after the fight's over, they become mates again. But yeah. no, literally, my girls first, girls my best friend as a child, I became best friends with this dude. We met because he just decided to punch me in the face. Yeah, it's a good way to meet people, actually. We literally, <laughs> we literally had a random fight on the basketball court when I was like in first grade, mm-hmm. and we became really quick friends when we were sitting in the office. Like, okay, this is what we're going to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. But if you <laughs> share, if you share those feelings, if you share those ideas with feminists, they'll call you a fucking misogynist for no, for, no, for okay. not be, being. Here, the is. thing about it yeah. is, it's it's testing because when it comes to 
male culture, or I guess what you could call it. Yeah, male men, psychology. No, men men male have to psychology. train. Okay. Yeah. Men have to, for the most part, have to um, test each other and push each other because we know the world is going to be hard and we have to deal with that. We don't have a choice. We don't have an option. We've we've got to deal and we've got to... Mm-hmm. We, you 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 have to man the fuck up. Also, it's another thing. It's it's about judging the character of another dude. You know, if you basically kind of go out to him in an aggressive way, but if if he tr- if he doesn't respond with complete aggression, in that time, in that same no, that's kind of an endearing quality because it means this guy is not a threat to me. So you kind of go, okay, we're gonna be friends. There's not this. Yeah, and and, and, of... and not only that, but it's it's the whole idea of if you're in a crisis situation, can you trust this guy? That's yeah, why one, that's why one. you get a lot of that in in the military. I I served my country uh like 15 years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago now. Jesus Christ, I'm getting old. <laughs> uh and I and we had that kind of environment where we you know, you rib on each other and and that still hadn't it hadn't disappeared from that area. And that's when you, you know, I got my more male education than, than uh, during school days because school days was it was fucking horrendous because we didn't yeah. have any type of social order between the guys. Mm. Because but ripping is a ripping is important between guys, you know. It's just yeah. because I read this thing. It was years ago. It was something about the way that male and female brains work, and that's why that women don't really like it when. Men treat them the same way they treat other men. Um, yeah, this is what exacerbated problems between me and other girls at school. Yeah, because um, we girls don't get on on a good day. And mm-hmm. one girl asked me what my honest opinion was of her, and I gave it to her. No. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Run! We we know we know Please. you're not supposed to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Cassie, I think you're a skit, and I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> no. She fucking lost it, dude. <laughs> well, well, that's the thing. So I think I'm, like, I'm wired like a dude. It's like there's something wrong it's, with me. It's I don't yeah, have the there's there's a thing I've have. noticed when it comes on, to children. Me, I was I was just gonna go with um. The thing that I was like reading a couple of years ago, it was a thing that says that men are, you know, the whole thing is that men are more visual creatures than women. You know, the the men sort of like when they pick who they fancy, it's more of a visual thing for yeah. up front at least. Um, then you have feelings for them, and ugh, all goes wrong. Um, but the whole point is, is that uh, even men, even between other men, it's more visual. Like a man can call another man a twat, but the body language men are subconsciously noticing about each other. You know, they know if this is a hostile stance or, or the other way around. And women just don't, uh, are more uh, intellectual creatures. I don't mean to blow smoke, but it is true. You know, when they have, when they when they do the partake of information, it's more you know, verbal and factual. Sorry, information. I but think it's... But right, basically, right. you're judging the person by how they're standing in shit. Ba- basically, so by gonna, my understanding of this comes down to something I noticed when it came to children. Very like when, even when I was a little kid, I noticed this and I thought it was crazy. It was it was the double standard children lies. All right, two kids fall to the ground and scrape their knee. One's a boy and one's a girl. Um, and then you re- watch the response of people, adults, to these this same situation. When it's the little boy, um, if he starts crying, they tell him to stop. They say, it's not the end of the world, let me see it. And they move on, because he's a little boy, and he's going to have to be tough. He's going to have to deal with this situation. Often. Life is harder than this. Yeah. 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 To the little girl... It's the exact opposite notion. It's all, come here, let me hold you, everything's okay, I'm I'm right here in this extreme, extreme coddling. Extreme coddling, where it's just like... And I, I've had this theory for a while that that basically creates a stunted emotional growth for a lot of women because they're expected... They expect that emotional coddling somewhat, 
so on some level, even in adulthood, where... I, I would agree, because I have been in situations where, like, full adult women who are perfectly smart, perfectly capable, perfectly correct. I didn't know if this is a nature or nurture thing. You know, I'm not sure the coddling has anything to do with it. I think it might just be a social response. But, like, she was crying over being, like, and that was it. She, um, her ligaments went out in her. She was a dancer, and just out of the blue one day, her ligaments went out in her leg, and she was like in tears, crying. And I remember thinking to myself, my leg got completely destroyed about a year ago, and the last thing I wanted to do was cry. In fact, I was making jokes about it, even as my leg expanded to elephant-sized proportions, and I had to be dragged off to the hospital. And I'm thinking. There's a difference here, isn't there? Is this nature or nurture? I I would no, argue that it's more n- nurture than we give it credit. Because the whole um, thing... Is, no, I agree that women basically... Biolog- if we're going to go into this a bit... I think girls great. need my upbringing a bit more. The, the stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about. Uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, they don't cry for shit. This yeah. bitch is just hard. <laughs> that's, that's what boys used to get. Uh, incidentally, um, I'm going to I'm going to get Stefan Molyneux onto this one, so we can ask us all about our childhoods on this one. Hang on, back him up. Oh God! No, oh, don't, 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 <laughs> don't, do that. don't, don't get Stefan involved. Tell me about your childhood. <laughs> no, it's it's this kind of thing where I hate you, my mother. Women are all whores. Women are all whores. I'm intellectual, by the way. Women are all whores. <laughs> <laughs> it's one. It's one of the reasons I think women had a hard time entering the workforce and still do, because men are are raised from almost infancy to be ready for the workforce. Nobody's going to care what you think. Yeah. You're not special unless I'm you prove just you're special. I'm grateful that I had a decent upbringing I think and I, my outlook has always just been that life's a competition so stop being a little bitch and go and get your yeah, we're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the, the difference is boys and on my wife. you can all fuck off now <laughs> boy, boy, boys are told that when they're toddlers yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are. women aren't told that until they they finish college and life kicks them in the vagina yeah. And that's why, oh, yeah. That's By why the way, I... life's a competition. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I say that that the, the removing competition and removing the the kind of the only thing boys have as a way of st- establishing social order is the reason why you see a rise uh, in bullying. That's why you see it. it, it it's it's it's. It's idiotic. The self-esteem movement has had the opposite effect. Oh. It's why it's why I think it's it's humorous that when you look at the statistics, the women who are more successful and are success are successful in the workforce and accomplish great things always have a sports background. Yeah. Almost yeah. always yeah. have a sports Apart background. If you take into account what was the name? Uh, the woman who's in charge of. Uh, the uh, deputy CEO of Facebook. What was her name? The ban bullying woman. Oh, sorry, ban bossy woman. Oh, Ellen. Um, uh, oh God, what's Ellen Powell? No, that was she Reddit. Was from Reddit. That was Reddit. Yeah. Oh, that was Reddit. Yeah, sorry, yeah. that was Reddit. Basically, uh, the woman who was like the CEO who did the ban bossy campaign, and that woman who was on the Nintendo thing who kept saying, "We bring smiles to children's faces." Remember that creepy woman? Oh yeah, Alison Prime. <laughs> no, she brung smiles to anyone who wasn't her husband's face. <laughs> oh, what was her oh, name? God, her name? poor husband. Okay, but basically, this is the woman who was at the Nintendo press conference, and she said, "We put smiles on faces and share that creepy Westboro Baptist preacher." Smile. Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, and she did a talk on te- she did a TEDx talk, and she kept going. It was called uh, Lessons to My Son. I forget her name. It was Candice something, I think. Candice Owen? Oh, my God. Get to the point already, Flippy. Yeah, oh go God. on. Pot calling that. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing... What she did, she was actually... She said, did this TED Talk called... Uh, Turning Le- into Jan. <laughs> lessons, lessons, lessons to My Son. It says, I need my son to understand how easy his life will be, no matter how horrible his experiences may be and I need to know how 
every time he sees a woman go for success, going for or, success, he needs to stand aside him. and let her do it. Yeah. Evil bitch. I'm not sure bitch. how how grinding down your son's self esteem is going to help him. Yeah, you'd be surprised how 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 common that shit is. Uh, Ooh, everybody, everybody, uh, uh, Osto says hello, or actually says faggot in chat. Cammy <laughs> Dunaway, Dunaway. Cammy Dunaway, that was the woman's name. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, but it, it, it's, it's, was, no, it's, 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 it's the it's same common. fucking bullshit that they, that they try to pull every time that there's a war on. They keep saying, oh, uh, men are dying on the battlefield, but it's the women's that have it hardest in war. Time. No, that was a, that was the Hillary Clinton. The primary clip where, victims of war. Where yeah, women you, are the you primary guys, victims. You guys want to war. talk about Hillary? Because oh, we got a whole yeah. bunch. Of... No, that was your that was your Hillary segue. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you like it? Talking about, I have completely forgotten. It's better than most of your segues. It works. It works. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but she. She did. Yeah, she she. she She's gone off the deep end. Well, you're, you're not allowed to talk about my 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 ailments, but my ailments are why I don't I shouldn't be <laughs> prosecuted for my crimes. Yeah, <laughs> and not only and not only that, but uh, I seem to remember a certain young senator who went after a bit older senator because of his fucking health. Oh yeah, she went up. She went after McCain like crazy. Hmm. No, okay, okay. You only need one sarcastic hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, all right. The whole, the whole hypocrisy of this whole thing is her health became the excuse of why she like had done so many fucked up things. But then people aren't allowed to talk about her health. Like the whole rolling the orange thing, that shit was hilarious. Yeah. What? Like, did you guys hear about this? No. No. Uh, ba basically, she hasn't been doing pressers, and she hasn't been doing press conferences, and and of course people noticed because it'd been like two hundred something fucking days. Yeah. That she'd just been avoiding answering any kind of questions, and so she oh she invites a bunch of bunch of reporters on a plane basically to to. to Basically, have a nice, fun plane ride with Hillary Clinton and ask some questions. And it, it it was really, really weird, and it didn't make any sense. And it came to a point where they, because she was at the front of the plane and they were in the back, they really couldn't answer her questions. So they literally were writing questions on fruit and rolling the fruit up to the front of the plane for her to answer the question. <laughs> oh, that was on me! Oh, no! She wanted to have dinner with Putin! <laughs> I thought that was a joke! I'm not making this shit up. I really wish I was. But, like, one of the questions was, would you rather have dinner with, with Trump or Putin? And then the orange rolled back. It had Putin circled. Like, it's the kind of note that you pass in high school where, like, do you like me, yes or no? And you hand it to them, and then you get an answer back later. But on fruit. And <laughs> so, she'd rather, so she'd rather go steady with Putin than Trump. But it's the most, it's like, come on, this is... This well, is the, the report most was quite in-depth, in considering it was just a simple, like... Uh, one of two answers thing like the the news report said well Hillary didn't actually circle it and AIDS circled it when she said she'd already had dinner with oh, Putin so we didn't really get a definitive answer on the dinner question oh, oh are you telling me that fruit wasn't a proper delivery device no, for a no. question for a presidential no, fucking not. candidate <laughs> Jesus Christ, how am I going to explain this to children in, in 40 Aww. years? That during this election, the presidential candidate was asked questions using a goddamn orange! <laughs> this, this whole is... election cycle's been meme-worthy, it's... <laughs> this, this has been the greatest American election ever. I mean, in the UK, we don't have this shit. No, we don't get oh, any no, of this pageantry. Is, we have sensible things. 
<laughs> Matt Lauer, okay. And then the, the stuff The craziest with, okay. person you have is Nigel Farage and Boris Johnson, and they're uh, compared no, they're to the American crazy. No, 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 but that's what crazy. compared to the Americans, they're 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 no, saying. they're yeah, no, they're, they're fucking, fucking famous shit. <laughs> yeah. they're, 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 there's no way they compare to this fucking, fucking this dumpster <laughs> fire that is our country. No. <laughs> and you keep okay. telling me to move to the U.S. because you're worried Europe is on fire. <laughs> yes, that's because okay, that's because your government sucks, but they're really nice about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, like okay, yeah. and then the let me go, let me go into the Matt Lauer thing. All right, Matt Lauer is a contributor to Hillary Clinton. Right. He's a contributor for to the fucking Clinton Foundation of all things. Yeah, which was just a front to basically fill the Clinton's pockets as we know at this point. And so basically they instead of having a debate, they had a town hall. Okay. Which means that you don't get to ask real questions. And so Matt Lauer is the moderator for this town hall meeting. <laughs> and so he asked he asked, you know, difficult questions of Trump and he actually a answers them competently. He doesn't gaff at all. It's, it was surprising. And he, he gives the most softball questions he possibly can on the pla planet to Hillary and really? she's fucking them up. Oh. She, she visibly has an earpiece in her ear where people are telling her what to say oh. and she still... She's still hostile. Yeah, she's still yeah, yeah, angry. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a bit. Yeah, well, so this, you were being... well, at this point, at least she didn't have that big guy come on stage and whisper in her ear every time she got confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, I, I, I'm you... not one of these. But I'm not a tinfoil hatter, but whenever I see this Hillary stuff, it's like, what is going on? There is something going on. There is something going no, on. No, that dude has a freaking EpiPen on him or something, like they've said that he basically is her medical handle or something. The big black dude? Yeah, is it still something? Yeah, that dude. Even that, if he didn't even if he didn't have no that. No one knows hand, who that guy is, but he's it, always like Uncle carrying Ruckus. this medical device on him. It's Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> it is not Uncle Ruckus. Even if he had that if his if he, if, eyes look normal. <laughs> even if he didn't have that thing in his hand, his mm -hmm. behavior around her is but is bizarre because I've never seen a prime minister of any country, neither a president of the United States, and I've only been fairly interested in the United States in the last couple of years because it only recently has become so fucking hilarious. I have to stick around and have a look. But I've never seen anyone have their have the uh, protocol and status quo changed just for them to have someone to come on stage and basically put a hand on their and from what we could hear through the microphone saying, it's okay, you've got to keep focused, and it's like, what is happening? Her hope yeah. is failing, and it, that's... Um, and, well, here's the thing. Like, they did this interview, and she actually got through it without any health problems. Like, she didn't even go into a coughing fit, which was the first time in, like, a while. Mm. <laughs> and now they're attacking Matt Lauer because he didn't solve all the questions enough. Oh. Like, this dude <laughs> donates to her campaign, <laughs> donates to her charity... It was basically sucking her ass, was throwing the most softball questions imaginable, and it still wasn't good enough. They've been calling him a misogynist and all this shit and all this. Where, and were, uh, where were these people when uh, Sarah Palin got a bunch of fucking softball questions she couldn't even answer? That's the thing. When you look at the treatment of the candidates, like the media, the, the, yeah, the left media tribalism. couldn't wait to jump all over yeah. You know, Palin, even though Palin's a moron, quite clearly, like... Yeah. You're, you're supposed to pounce on this stuff. And they didn't even have a real debate. It was a town hall, and it's it's a circus. Like, you can't... You can't be negative to her at all in the media, or your career is over. I mean, if... Like Dr. If, Drew. Yeah. Dr. Drew was fucked off by CNN. After he Do Dr. Her. Drew said there are legitimate concerns about her health, and the show was canceled yeah. instantaneously. Did you see that piece by the guy whose uh, Twitter handle is The Fix, where he was actually one of those people that actually went on to, and rightfully so, I think, um, 
what was his name? John McCain's uh, health, which I do believe was an issue, because if he, he died, if he died, if if something happened to him, he was nowhere near as bad though. Sarah Palin would have been your president. And now, in this current age, he's writing articles saying, "Oh God, Hillary Clinton's health is great. Can we not talk about it?" And mm. even with a cursory glance, and even though I do agree that Paul, uh, was it Paul Joseph Watson? That is his name. Yeah. I believe he's he's just an attack dog hack. Um, he's not completely wrong. There is something there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. It, it... It's, it's, a le- it's, a, it's a legitimate question it's, in it's most the same presidential problem. campaigns. Yeah. Most, most political campaigns will answer the question and just move on. Mm. They I mean, might say, oh, well, you know, they may have this problem or this problem, but it's manageable, it's taken care of, it's nothing to worry about, you know. But that's not what Hillary's campaign is doing. They're saying nobody can ask questions Nobody can question it. Nobody can say anything. You know, when she's, you know, half fallen down, having to be held up by people and having these God. random, like, wire mix misfunctions where she jerks around yeah. and looks like she's having some type of seizure. Just just weird shit. Yeah, this whole thing is like, you know, even if these photos were completely true and she just says... I was really, really ill for about three months. That's why I didn't want to talk to you because I wanted to win this thing. But I'm fine now. That would be a completely acceptable response. Yeah. But the fact that she's completely she's, avoiding it is she's, a problem. Yeah, she's never been fine. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, you, she could say that I have been on going back to myself and my headphones. Okay. Um, she, she could have actually said this, like, that I will that's why I didn't want to talk to you and I needed help yes for a while this guy is my medical aid uh, we wanted to keep it from you but apparently we can't but I'm going to be fine no. now if they did that I would go alright honest up front we get it but it's um, the continued denial and the fact that the press are actively firing people who say against it I'm sorry mm. but um I'm going to be joining Info yeah, it's Wars next week. Yeah, I'm going to be joining Info Wars. I'm now going to be Alex Jones's new friend. I'm going to have some underpants on my head saying Hell Hydra and still being way more credible than saying Yuga. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the thing is that they. that That's that's the problem. And it's the same fucking thing with the source. They always say, oh, well, you got to have a credible source. It, it's the same thing with the leaked Wikipedia discussion mm. uh, that surfaced this week. The the amount of bullshit from that. They still have articles that are backed by Gawker property articles. Mm-hmm. They still have that on Wikipedia, but they don't want to consider Breitbart uh, credible. Well, to be honest, I don't. I, I, apart from, I do like, I do like Breitbart Tech, but as an organization, uh, Breitbart. Dude, dude I'm not defending. Not... I'm not defending Breitbart. You know. Oh, I'm not me. saying I'm you not are. Fucking, I'm not I'm, saying you are. I'm just I'm saying. Just saying, saying. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I'm, just, I'm just saying he's like. Oh Breitbart... God, that's becoming a thing, is it? <laughs> the more I read into Breitbart, the more I kind of go, okay, you've got a really obvious agenda here. Yep. It's becoming a thing, and so it. is Jimmy the Llama. Oh, Jimmy, yeah. Stop! Stop trying to make Jimmy of the Llama a thing. It wasn't a thing when you said it. It's, it's not a thing now. Jimmy the Llama. Your then. failed meme must die. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, here come that boy. Oh, shit, what up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, but it's it's just it, it's this idea of uh, this this idea that that uh, they the sources need to be ideologically pure or or at least completely fucking. What they mean by purity is their political purity. Yes, mm. exactly, and that's I've had it. No, we could. All right. I'm sorry, but 12-year-olds, you know, hopped up on cocaine, edit Wikipedia articles for fuck crying out loud. 
There's yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> always the stuff. thing about it was way too easy to just fuck around with Wikipedia, which is why your teachers didn't let you use Wikipedia as a fucking source in school for that very reason. Yes. But they've never they've never had a standard and so they're not going to have one now. I mean, you know how quiet, you know, Wales has been about the whole thing. He's not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole because he knows if he actually says, okay, maybe this was all bullshit, then he knows that he's going to get attacked and he's going to have the dog sick on him. Yeah, of course. You know, when I was in school, I remember being told not to use Wikipedia for, like, an essay. So I didn't, actually. I went to a different site, and it was about this really obscure subject. It was the only thing I could find. I basically wrote that down, and then I got detention because it turns out Wikipedia copied them. Word for word. And then I had to spend my birthday at school until about 6 o'clock. I didn't get home until 8 o'clock, and then I had to go to bed. So, yeah, I to that teacher. <laughs> When I was at school, we had Encarta, which was the... Um... Oh, yeah. I remember that. We had a little encyclopedia on a CD. Yeah. yeah. Encarta <laughs> was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember actually going to the library and looking up books. But then again, I'm old and Norwegian, and we do like to do things. I've only been different. to a library twice, and that's only because college made me do it. Um... <laughs> I haven't really touched the library since I accidentally stole a couple of books and... Oh no! Uh, uh, oh, accidentally like stole a couple of books? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would like to say uh, Banbury School in, you know, what are the to Banbury Cross, that school? Um, I still have four of your library books and it's been... <laughs> cu- it's been 14 <laughs> years since that. I stole them. And speak, you've still not come into contact with them. Did you hear about that new law they had? I forget where it was. I think it was in New York, where you could actually get jail time for um, going past your due date on a library book. No. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! It's not my fault. I didn't have like I was not able to get to the library for seven years because I didn't have any reason to go into town for seven years. You, 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 had, you had to deliver your fucking books. That's a reason to go I into didn't town. Really <laughs> I, had them. I didn't realize they weren't actually mine. <laughs> I don't read those books very often, and I don't look inside and see the book with the thing on the... Uh, oh, the I thought it was mine, I just didn't like it and didn't want to read it. So we are, we are not on that... board, Tarson. You're the that... reason why public was... libraries are being closed everywhere, Tarson. Well, well, I noticed it was, um, no, that would be homeless was people school, masturbating in the computer queues. Oh, let's talk. <laughs> oh, let's talk oh, about. Whoa. Let's talk about I the actually, public uh, masturbation. This I, brings I, us I, neatly will... onto Italy's new thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> now that Jan is a motherfucking segue. <laughs> yeah, I tried. To, I tried to. I tried to use that as a segue, but Tarson <laughs> and Blippi kept talking over me. Yeah, because I have something really amazing to say. Um, I'll be saying that um, Banbury School, if you still have that system where you have the tags in the corner of your books, um, any dickhead can just tear the corner off and walk out with all the books. And secondly, I had sex in your library once. Ha <laughs> ha. I think everybody at some point has had a sex had sex in the library. Really, it's the no. best place. It's so quiet, and no one goes there. <laughs> yeah, so let's, 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 let's talk about the public masturbation thing since <laughs> it so so nicely into it. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Um there's gonna be a, a group there's One gonna be favorite topics. Yeah, there's gonna be a group of feminists who are gonna attempt to do it in public and then complain who are a bunch of dudes. Complain when they them. get a bunch of spectators or people yeah. who want to jack off with them. Yeah, yeah but here, here's here's the thing. See, here's see this is thing. what you do. Here's the thing. You, you show up with a bottle of wine and just sit there and just watch smugly. 
I'm just <laughs> into Yachter Glass. I love, I love it when you've got like um, Jan and Ira just like battling for dominance. Over <laughs> Do you remember that photo of the guy at the protest that like whipped his cock out and then a bunch of feminists screamed in his face and like blew an air? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I've already won. <laughs> the funny thing was, he was just agreeing with them. They were saying something about, you know, having your dentals, basically you having your. Yeah, able to let it all hang out, or yeah, yeah. yeah. He agreed, and he went, and he was like, "Yes, <laughs> I agree. Here's my dick." <laughs> and it was his. He was the original dick out for her Harambe. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna explain this. So, Italy's highest court oh, has go. ruled that masturbation in public is not a crime as long as it's not conducted in the presence of minors or if you're a priest. What I don't get is how this came about, considering the case which brought this uh, change in law about, he actually did masturbate in front of children, so oh. why did this become... No, 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 it was in front of students from a university. No, I think I remember the article saying that they were underage. No, no, not at Does it really matter? You, you shouldn't whip your, your junk out and fap in fucking public. Come on. Unless it's for a rumbe. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, you're not working it. You're just whipping it out. That's completely different. You know, <laughs> Masturbation should really only creepy. happen in your dungeon for mannequins. Oh, see, see, you bitch about that joke, and then you make that joke. He's oh, living goodness. the gimmick. He's living the gimmick we've given him. Let him have it. We gave it to him. Let him take it. But well, there are probably going to be masturbation hotspots, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> no, 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 not hotspots. Sticky, fest. sticky spots. That's Stop what it's erecting, gonna be. Like, going to be. We're going to have shelters for when you're out in the rain. <laughs> God damn it! Where is our degenerate furry when we need him? He's yeah. Roy needs to be out here for this. <laughs> Roy, you freak! Where are you? Ro just... Roy is our 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 resident furry yeah. who works for Tech Raptor. <laughs> is he actually a furry? Yes, yes he is actually yeah. a furry. Yeah. Oh my God. You thought he was joking? No. Oh no, friend. <laughs> I just, You're like going to the history of furrydom. Oh, no, I he just breaking it down. I, I just joined fairy, an ironic think... role play with him once, and now I'm fairly regretting it. Yeah, I think furry is a bit unfair towards him because, like, he's clearly stated that he is a unicorn. So I think he's actually he's other a furry. Oh, he's other king. Okay, he's a cool. proud furry. No, he's not other king. He's 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 a. Furry. No, no, dude. He he's old school furry. He helped create the goddamn community. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he went into a whole. He has gone several times into the complete history of furrydom. And, <laughs> and I remember the first time. That yeah. Is weird. There is nothing wrong with it. He's got a kink. At least he's not masturbating on a fucking subway train. It'll, you know, it's, not illegal. Not illegal. Not illegal in Italy. Not illegal in Italy anymore. So I mean, at least he'll never show. I never said it was illegal. Just, I be, just, said, just because something isn't illegal doesn't mean you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm moving away from this now. I am no, 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 one. we're not moving away from it because... I am, you can. You guys can keep going, but I'm moving away from it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We finally drove away Plippy! <laughs> I'm playing Overwatch at the moment, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's just... It, it, it shows the degeneracy of Europe, in my opinion. There are certain things that you just... Don't do. Don't do. And I and I'm I'm a fucking I'm a proud kink person. Well, I, I don't tamer I, things like spitting in the street is disgusting to me. Yes, oh, yeah, God, yeah. I hate that. Oh, that's There's a big difference between spitting in the street and whipping out your well, dick. Yeah, exactly. Just... Exactly. I'm I'm saying as when you compare the two, spitting is is tame, and I still think that's fucking rank. Like you don't. Do yeah. That. I hate. I would gladly take someone pissing in the street over someone spitting in the street. 
Because someone who speaks in the street basically basically has this like this macho man thing going for them when they do it. Oh. But someone pissing, it's like you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh god, no, <laughs> no, no to, no to both. In my like I've never seen anyone take a piss in the road unless they're drunk. Well, yeah. I, I've well, watched, if you I have watched, nowhere to go, voluntarily, but at least involuntarily. someone having a piss yeah. has an excuse. Yeah. You've got to empty out the bottle at some point. Oh, you do? Too. Yeah, that's fair. Well, yes, but that's what spitters say. They go, oh, well, I can't just keep the phlegm in my mouth. I'd have to swallow it, and that's gross. Yeah, yeah. but it's less gross than spitting on the street where I have to walk on it. Yeah, dirty cunt. Yeah, but it, it's there is there is a certain there is a certain and I and I hate. I love like how like I love dude. I love how for Nate. Yeah. Spitting in the street is the most horrible thing ever. Disgusting. <laughs> but she showed no disgust whatsoever about masturbating on trains. <laughs> so I have to ask, Nate. The comparison was. Is, is this a possibility for you? Are you going to no, just jump on the train no, one day in Italy and just. Because even just, just this in the street the meat is flaps. fucking rank to me. Like, you can't just be. Stroking yourself out in public either. Don't do that. <laughs> so no, so no public red wings. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are two types of people in this me, world: so... those who masturbate in public and those who don't. Yeah. Is clearly. Are we talking about master Martian? And master Marsh as well, ladies and gentlemen. If public spitting is repugnant, then so is trying to fucking bang one out in public. Don't do it. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm just too cool. Only Spider Man is allowed to do the Spider Man in public. <laughs> <laughs> what about the helicopter? That's, that's all I learned. What about the helicopter? The helicopter is perfectly acceptable, obviously. Provided there's a Harambe present. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are obsessed with that gorilla. Because <laughs> gorilla is shot and you don't give a shit about him. He's everything good in the world. Yep. But he's yep. not even the only Jesus we have. We've got like three other gorillas who've all been shot. They can be our saviors. Now they're the disciples. Yeah. yeah. But still, like, why is everyone so obsessed with Harambe specifically? Because, because people got so pissed hilarious. off about it. They keep saying they wanted to stop, so now it must never Karambe stop. Karambe yeah. initially became a meme because people thought, like, the the outcry was an overreaction. I disagree. Like, I think the enclosure no, the... should have been secure and the parents should have been watching a fucking four-year-old or no, whoever the, all he was. The original, the um, original reason that the story got any street, you know, steam in the first place is Black Lives Matter. Try to compare oh. themselves to a gorilla and try to make. Well, yeah, the, I mean, I saw the Sally gorilla Kelly getting thought. shot as some type of, of racial comparison, oh. which to unironically compare yourself to a monkey and you're a well, black group trying to stop well, that's racism. Initially, initially, they were trying to spin it as, oh well, they've they've shot this endangered animal to try and rescue a white child that got into the enclosure because. No, 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 no. That was that was after. Like, no. No, it was a black kid and the fucking negligent black parents, actually. And then they fucking backpedaled and they were like, no, no. It's but by no, then it was, was too late and people were already <laughs> making jokes and they haven't stopped since. Yeah. But I don't think, I have no sympathy for the zoo. They're like, oh, please stop cracking jokes about it. I'm like, well, it's partially your fucking fault. How can a child just climb into an enclosure, you dickheads? <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Maybe, maybe some bonding. I don't know. And that's why Harambe <laughs> died for our sins. Yeah. 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 What, I liked, what I thought was the most funny thing was like, Philadelphia Zoo had a baby gorilla born. And they put out in public to ask people, what would they like for the new baby to be born? Harambe! And, and the next day, was like, no, we're not calling it Harambe. My <laughs> point is, why not? Well, yeah, why, why the fuck not? They take it to democratic vote, so we can't have fucking Harambe. We couldn't call the boat fucking Boaty 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 Face. Yeah, no, I'm not pissed off. That'll piss me off so bad. I want it to be called Boaty Boaty Face. <laughs> how, about, <laughs> how, how about how about Ape Mc Ape Face then? No, <laughs> no, no, here's the no. Thing. no. If I was a publicist, I would have been like, no, we have to, 
we have to name the baby gorilla Harambe. Yeah. Because we'll get all of the attention. Think well, about it. Well, at least... Harambe. Think of all the publicity and all of the extra mm-hmm. yeah. we'll mm-hmm. get. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and people would, to be people fair... People would go to the zoo just to take pictures with the new baby Harambe. Harambe 2.0 and say that his memory lives on. <laughs> <He'd> so <sell laughs> merchandise, there would be t-shirts. Yeah, exactly. Harambe reborn. Fucking crazy straws with Harambe, Harambe Jr. Yeah. We have the one true Harambe. That yeah. Harambe is dead. <laughs> you just thought that this one would be the new Harambe. Welcome our new Lord and Savior. It'd be like oh, it'd be like one. Dalai Lama. They could have like a continuation of Harambe, the cult of There's Harambe, just Harambe. like the Dalai Lama. They could have used the meme for publicity. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh well, he only took off as a meme because people want to laugh at an African name. Well, even if they did, it's, it's not things. about the name. It was making fun of. Isn't isn't Harambe a salute? Yeah, Harambe is is a is it a salute, I believe, in Swahili. Yeah, a Swahili word. Yeah. I did find the name funny. Who the fuck cares? Why do you have to turn it into this big injustice? Why is this an issue, you stupid? Because they butt hurt that they they should They had to shoot the gorilla. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I got hurt that they technically, they the didn't have to shoot the gorilla. They yeah, did, but they had to shoot the wrong gorilla. If he'd torn was... that child limb from limb, then the, zim- the yeah. zoo would have been liable, and the parents would have fucking just gone, oh, well, it was all the zoo. Yeah, they were fucking isn't... watching the little cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like three other children, well, to be them. honest. When and, I'm... uh... Carry on, sorry. Either keep an eye on it, or put it on fucking child reins, dickhead. Mm. <laughs> well, basically, my no, 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 no. This is this is a big, loud black woman <laughs> with, so with a boyfriend that's the father of the child that's in and out of jail. Okay. Yeah. Well, I from she can't I stop having kids to fucking begin with, let alone watch them. Oh, yeah. she can't. She can't watch the existing ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she can watch the like it's you know you you can you can you can. You can you can stand to lose a child, lady. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mate. Do you know yeah. what the weird thing was? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something fairly anecdotal. My best mate and his husband I have uh, adopted a child called Dexter. Oh. And is it Dexter... a red hair? Because no. they have no soul, and he will become a fucking serial killer. Yeah, no, he's not a red hair. No, that's weird. Dexter's what... lab Dexter. No, oh! he, no, no, what happened was they ha- there is um his mother, Dexter's Dexter's mum, mm-hmm. basically has at this point, at the age of twenty seven years old <clears throat> Go on. Fifteen children from What? Oh was there and ever I... a time when a uterus wasn't occupied or Yeah. Well basically <laughs> the whole point was like Look, what they are no. basically what what's happening is because they adopted Dexter, who was a lovely little lad. Mm-hmm. Even though when they got him, they were kind of worried because he had um, addiction signs. Oh. Um, oh, and he was a baby, and he's fine now. But when they got him, he was, you know, so he was a crack up. baby. Yeah, basically. Um, keep in mind that both of those parents were white. And they were fucking chavs. But, uh, and, but he was named Dexter after the uh, serial killer of the TV show. Oh, Jesus brilliant. Jesus Christ. And all her children are named after horror characters. But the thing is, when you adopt the child, you can't change the child's first name. You can't rename the child, no. no. You can change the surname, but you can't change the first name. And Jesus fucking Christ. So, and what happens is... Oh, that Bojie McBoat face! That's too much next face. But the problem, this, here's the problem is, is did like, they, did they have whenever, the thing is that because they keep... They keep yeah, Chucky. Well, what they keep Chucky, trying to do yeah. is they want to keep all the kids together. You know, to keep them... So stop fucking Michael. churning out kids! I can't afford 15, cunt! Well, that's it. Every time... <laughs> the thing is, the first... Three times she had a kid. Keep on. Dexter is four. She has had four kids since him. 
Oh, Jesus. Did she, she start like the at the end of the oh, by jumping in a swimming pool. No, you're missing the point. She is giving up all these kids for Meet adoption. Somebody who is having a child just so they can be born with fucking fetal alcohol syndrome or whatever the fuck yes, they've got at the time. Needs to be she it. needs it's to like... be fucking sterilized. Stop. She's not, yes, she's not doing it for the she's not doing it for the, you know, the state funded bullshit because she's giving them away and she's just having kids. It's like what are you doing, woman? For what purpose? You don't give a shit about them. Stop having them. Yes, and they are all being born with addictions because when you are pregnant, you are taking drugs. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, are they fertility fire. drugs? Because that would explain some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can you no, have a fertility um, drug addiction? They were certainly <laughs> like, no, the uh, oh, symptoms yes. that uh, my uh, godson, as he is now, uh, was born with was like it, it looks like alcoholism but for him to have those symptoms while pregnant every day she would have at least have to drink for nine months keep in mind a liter of vodka every night oh, oh Jesus geez. that's bad and he seems fine and he seems fine but he had the addiction symptoms when he was born oh uh, if he's four now, he might get some issues when he's a teenager. Cause, yeah, maybe, yeah, but he yeah. seems, he, yeah, he he's ultra clingy. He has a he has abandonment. Sorry, yeah, no, <clears throat> abandonment. No. I'm not fucking surprised. Uh, no. Yeah, but yeah, he's probably he's, still he's drunk. drunk. <laughs> 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 you are late, like right? You never leave me. Uh. Should, 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 we, should we cover the, the 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 few topics that we have left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's not, you know, it's. We went off on a tangent. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm trying to. Much. I'm trying to control this chaotic podcast from time to time. <laughs> you know, tangents going to happen with Clippy here. It I'll always moderate does. this shit. Yeah. Well, since the Brits are so talkative. Let's talk about the British Burka police. <laughs> uh, do we have to? Ninjas, run! <laughs> well, it's not like a proposal at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's just a, it's, it, it's a proposal. To me. It's a proposal, and I'll, I'll go from memory here, but it's I'll a... I'll fight you on the fucking beaches, I swear to God. No, we are not doing this. <laughs> it was to... Let me get this. All right, let me get this. They're going to allow burkas to allow, and let me get this completely straight, to allow minority women to join. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's this not a requirement is in order not to get a minority to... group. It is not an ethnic group. No. It's a religion. Yes. It's an ideology I'm sorry, as well. But this so. distinction. Well, here's the problem. Wouldn't it be made. against a religion to give a woman that power in the first place? To them, yes. Well, yes. So this I'm is sorry, just a big I'm waste of fucking the... time. I I've actually sat hours and hours looking at uh, Muslim imams to get to this point, and I do think some of them are really kind of cool, and I agree with them on a lot of issues. Unfortunately, there are a few the chill breakers. ones are very few and far between. Dude. Well, <laughs> even 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 with the cool ones, there are some breakers that happen there. Yeah, but here, here's my question. Is there a huge fucking um, amount of applicants for police positions or for, for going to police school or police academy? No, no, this is, that, this that, is purely... That, that, this it is seems pu like a fucking idiotic just, problem it's to, just to an solve. an exercise in vanity so that they yeah, can yeah, say yeah. they're doing their bit for diversity. It's not going to make a... It's a PR movement, movement. nothing else. So, so it's basically just... Look how fucking if it diverse goes beyond we proposal are. Stage, Maybe I they just be, really like ninjas. I'll be mortified if it actually goes <laughs> beyond proposal stage. I mean, they they, they actually been, do have been, people that 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 it's use the, been, the the the. It poses a clear hoodies. security risk. I don't understand yeah. why it would ever be entertained in the first place. But no, anti-terror anti-terror anti uh, units all over the world. Wear ski well, we, masks. Well, we have petrol stations in this country where you're not allowed to wear your hoods up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. A, a burger or an, even a hijab. Uh, oh, I'm personated. Go to work now and and yeah, go and enforce the 
to know you. How, yeah. How you do not believe <laughs> I mean, you could, that, that's the thing. You could walk around in a burqa, no matter what you are, and do a lot of fucking damage. That, it, 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 yeah. I'm tempted to go to London and just see damage I could cause wearing a burqa. In London? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say the thing. Thing. You are basically a, basically a very. You've got nice eyes, so what's going to happen oh, is flippy, you can... flippy. We don't hit <laughs> on people really, within really the back. podcast. You know that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You, you know what? I will take no the fucking thirsty. compliment. I need it. Say, say, I know that the black community don't like man on man love. I will admit that. <laughs> Ira is not is frankly the best looking out of all of us here. Hey, <laughs> hey, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. You're gonna offend some people. Don't. Don't, don't he, start that I'm shit. Just saying, if I, I'm if a Nordic I'm... fucking beauty, okay? Alright, alright, dude. I'm okay. sorry, Jan, but I'm killing you, sir. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna <laughs> you. I'm patting you on the head, Jan. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. I think I think you're an attractive man, too. Don't worry about it. I'm not patting you on the head. <laughs> but uh, if, if Ara wandered around London, claiming to be a Muslim, shooting people in the kneecaps, he would go free any moment of the day at the moment. <laughs> So you're saying that if I want to out, if I want to live out my Grand Theft Auto fantasies, I need to go to London and pretend what? I'm Muslim. Yes. <laughs> don't do it I in mean, Baltimore. Don't don't quote us on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm quoting just, you. I'm not quoting you. Man. <laughs> so when the article comes out, they come directly to you guys. No. <laughs> they can come to me because frankly, I have said so much outlandish yeah, shit. Yeah, said it. It wasn't me. Yeah. No, no. I'm already. I'm. Going straight to you guys when they actually do arrest me. Yeah, but it's it's just the, the going back to after I light a couple of things. They'll be it. They'll be it. They'll be it. They'll be it. If Ira ever ever comes to us after he's done this, we'll just go. What's your problem, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thanks, it, bro. What are you saying? You're more likely to get arrested uh, no, over here. A real friend will help you hide a body. On the internet. Oh so yeah. yeah. I, had four, I had four people talking at once. What was that? Yeah. So you're more likely to get arrested here for hurting somebody's feelings on the internet, so I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, yeah basically. That and <laughs> only real friends will help you hide a body. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's... It, going back to the burka thing, it just seems... <laughs> it's just... It, it, it seems like... They had this discussion about hijabs in Norway back in the day, and they said, nope. No, we're not doing that because it's not part of the police uniform. Standard issue uniform it just yeah. is what it is. If you can't yeah. wear crucifixes visibly or any of that other shit, then I don't want to see any other religious paraphernalia. It's not fucking one rule for one and one rule for another. Exactly. We're all doing the same no, thing. Can't. Here's the thing. In Norway, one of our one of our oldest cultural symbols, the uh, Mjolnir, is not allowed to be worn visibly by any government official because they consider it a fucking Nazi symbol. Oh, for God's sake. So, yeah. Oh, be because some unsavory characters like yeah. to use it, that makes it a problem. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing in Germany. Ger uh, uh, some, parts, uh, uh, some parts of Germany, they banned the visible use of any type of Norse symbolism. Because of the Maybe they're just horror. tired of Marvel movies. <laughs> don't, blame them. don't, don't compare Norse mythology <laughs> to oh, I do. fucking that Marvel again. Thor. Fuck you. You know <laughs> that triggered me. Fuck you so hard. I remember somebody be, losing I, their shit over I'm a not Celtic a cross. Jen. <laughs> if I could be uh, serious for a second. Um, you know the swastika, that famous symbol? Yeah, yeah it's, a, that, that, it's that an version Na of the Manji well, symbol. The, yeah, first. The, the Nazis actually ruined the symbol. Yeah, it was actually... It, yeah, it was never um, there in the first place. It, it was a symbol strength. for um, balance. It was actually called the Manji symbol. If yeah, I it, was, uh, strength, it was study. balance or strength or and strength and unity. Yeah. And the Nazis co-opted it and turned it into something very, very bad. And as a result, it'd be like if you the, can't the, have it anymore. 
it, it'd be like the Islamists starting to use a peace sign as their official symbol. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like a symbol of a person basically pointing upwards in a single finger peace sign. Yeah. That thing. Yeah, it's it's. What? No, there was actually a symbol which was um, cool within the youth of the UK a few years ago. It was basically the same thing that ISIS do now. It's basically, you know, imagine <laughs> the pe- you know the finger that you tell people to fuck off with, the, you know, the middle finger. Middle yeah. finger. Yeah. Yeah. Now imagine you give them the peace sign, but drop them, but drop the middle finger. Okay. That that gesture. Yeah, yeah. One finger up. Yeah. Your. That was actually a thing. That well, was actually a gesture. That's a sex of... act, not a symbol. No, that's yeah. not. <laughs> We're not talking about the shocker. <laughs> you are talking about the shocker. I'm talking about. <laughs> no, you need three fingers for the shocker, baby. Oh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I can hear it. I can feel the cringe from Neath all the way over the Nordic Sea. Two in the pink, one in the stink. No. Um, but yeah, it's basically it was like there were a bunch. They there was a point where a bunch of um, Islamists got the British police to do a pl- do a gesture which they thought was a thumbs up, but was basically the ISIS balloon. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> oh, it's such a mess over here at but the this moment. This whole like this whole uniform thing with the police. This is this is yet another nail in the coffin of whenever I hear the word diversity, I just want to kill myself. Because um, yeah. <laughs> it's usually just a meaningless fucking. See, see this is what I talk about. Like our American political system is fucked, but this shit, that shit, would like, never get off the ground. There's either. no, it's fine. But then when you say, "Oh, we must have diversity for the sake of diversity," that's when it becomes a problem. And yeah, start... and a lot of this shit is coming from the U.S. So thank you very fucking much, yeah, assholes. Yeah. You really didn't socialism. start this shit. Well, basically, <laughs> I will be. You remember, a, a couple of weeks ago, I told you that in my company, I became the diversity <laughs> officer. Oh, <laughs> lucky. Yeah. No, I asked to be the diversity officer. Why? Because I said, "Can I be the diversity officer?" Because we have exactly four employees, and I'm one of them. And I'm over another one of them. So I said, can I be the diversity employee? And then what does that mean? He goes, it doesn't matter. Just give me the title. You don't have to pay me anything extra. And I went, okay. You should have known you were up to fucking hijinks just from that. What are you up to? Here's what happened. Is that this week, we've actually started answering phone calls about diversity. And they've Uh actually given them to me. So basically, (laughs) I'm answering phone calls because we have 30 quid a week. Excellent. And you know what I say every single time? I'm saying, nah. here, I'm, here we don't know what diversity is, but um, we don't give a shit, so thank you, bye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's, it's, it's that fucking movement has ruined a lot of good words. That, that used know. to mean it has, organically but, isn't a problem, but when you yeah, keep but to I'm fucking compl- force it, it's, a, it's annoying. Stop doing that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm a complete mercenary, so I'm going to take advantage of this and get some extra cash out of my company. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, it's, it's just, yeah. Uh, but diversity people talk about it like it's the be-all and end-all of It's just harassment. so problematic. Yeah. It's it's all those words. Have been it's used. social it's, it's just a word now that's used to usher in whatever fucking bullshit that you want to usher in. Yeah. Any convenient excuse. Well, it's it's aiding diversity. Well, I don't give a fuck. I just want a competent police force, and I don't want them in fucking burkas. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's works for me. It's it, why why you you, 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 you got it you got to you be have a to police. Have more, yeah. Well, here's the thing: is like, in the police force, you need to see their badge, their badge number, and their face, so you yeah. know who you're dealing with. Because in the UK, we don't really have face of police; we have community officers for the most part. So, having someone who is allowed to mask their face within the UK police movement is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. It's 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 very anti. It's, what it, the it, police have been trying to betray themselves as for the last 30 years. Yeah, it's... it's in fact. Even yeah. just for snippies to have, like, the full face coverings to me is ridiculous. So for 
for them to even entertain it with police officers is just I, I, I just want to see if one of these Burka police officers get chased around with some guy with a machete. Oh, They'd God. have their own fucking machete underneath there. <laughs> yeah, but here, here. Then it's Mortal Kombat and charge <laughs> seating. It's Baraka oh, versus Sub-Zero. Okay. <laughs> Burka. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Brilliant. I walked right into that. Let's yeah. let's talk about our favorite Hollywood actor. <laughs> I don't actually know what's going on here. Why has he become a topic of conversation again? What's he done this Cause, time? Because he's bitching about Steven Spielberg. Because oh. he's not letting his dreams be dreams. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he did. He wasn't allowed uh, during the filming of. Um, uh, I think it was India, the, the Indiana Jones, the rape of Indiana Jones, basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm in that camp. It, oh, it's not an Indiana Jones. Oh my God, Jones. Jones. Yeah, just get just say what he did. Yeah, yeah. he complained he about the fact that, the fact that um, Steven Spielberg wouldn't let him have fun on the set. Because yeah, that's not what a set is for, you stupid hippie. You're here to act. Yep. <laughs> I'm spoiled brat. It's, it's a job, not. Yeah. You know, yeah. This ain't acting. fucking playgroup. You're here to do a job. <laughs> if I exactly. came to work and complained that that I wasn't allowed to dick around in the office, they would show me the door. <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, and, oh, and, and the thing. And the thing is, I've worked. On movie sets. That's that's my oh, that's my go. job. Well, time is it, fucking money. It's yes, all expensive exactly. equipment. You've got all of these professionals on site to film the scenes. Like just fucking get on with it. Yeah, and what the are thing you doing? is, and the thing is, if, if you work on a set, if you work as a as a set worker, the amount of shit you get from actors or fucking directors, if you fuck up. Jesus fucking Christ. And he complains <laughs> he complains about oh I wasn't allowed to interpret my role as I felt like it. Wait, fuck wait, you. Wait, wait. Fuck wait, I'm back. you. I'm back. What are we talking about? This sounds like theater shit. Shia LaBeouf. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. No, alright, here's the thing. Here's oh the fuck thing. Shia LaBeouf. Shia... <laughs> the guy was handed the keys to the kingdom and he fucked up and no one likes him. Deal yep. with it, motherfucker. Say you sat with a bag on your head and you claim someone raped you while you were doing your live action play. Who gives a fucking shit? You look like a twat, no one likes you, and you're given so many cushy gigs and you completely failed to pull through and you weren't a draw. Fuck you. <laughs> no, here's the thing about Shia LaBeouf. Little asshole. <laughs> Is is he 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 spent so much time taking his own career that him taking shots at Spielberg like people are like oh well that's the end of his career and it's like dude, Shia LaBeouf hasn't had a career for years. Yeah, he's a pretentious little faggot that fucking runs around being ridiculous, going look I'm an artist. No, you're a faggot. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> he he fits he fits very well in with that sort of performance arts bullshit crowd. That mm. I've had up to here with the, the <laughs> type of modern art bullshit that, that yeah oh, oh it's you... it's I'm portraying my feelings fuck you paint a picture <laughs> you asshole oh god the yeah. moment the moment we turned I mean the All England drama final when we lost to a team of basically a bunch of like gymnasts running around and tearing their shirt offs going gay we are gay we are gay and at the end of it going stop molesting children <laughs> the all England drama winner I'm sorry the t- <laughs> what the fuck I just watched a bunch of underage gay porn and at the same time at the end of it they yelled at me I yelled at anyone in the audience who enjoyed child gay porn. Oh. And it was the weirdest, creepiest shit ever. Um, sorry, if anyone wasn't aware, I'm uh, into the theatre scene in Britain quite big. Um, yeah. Yay! Gay! <laughs> yeah, but it's... it's, 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 it's Here's it's... the thing is, uh, anyone, if you want me to suck a dick, I'm pretty much the best at it. So... <laughs> Also, if you hey. want to, if you want someone to lick vagina, also I will put my skills up against anyone here too. So, Ew. is that on Give your resume? Yeah, he's an actor, dude. 
It's a, they put anything on a fucking resume, and I know <laughs> this because I'm a fucking right screenwriter. Okay, <laughs> you fucking assholes, stick to the goddamn lines I've written and stop yeah, improvising. Stop that! Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. I like your lines. Shit. I think your lines are great. I'm just saying, if I put my own little personal twist on them, I'm just saying that. Oh, fuck Bitch, you. don't. <laughs> for the character I have in my head, I think it will work better. Is that okay? This is this is not how my character would act, you know? He would he would do it. Jan is so different. fucking triggered this time. Fuck you. Fuck you so hard. Fuck you. You're here to portray a character in a story. Jan! No one cares. I can. <laughs> God damn it. That was my <laughs> worst mistake the state agents when I worked at a solicitor's office. We oh. don't. Yeah, we don't like each other. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just, uh, dude. I've, I've, I've had to. Uh, I used to, I used to enjoy being an actor and being in front of the camera. <laughs> but Jesus Not fucking so much Christ! Now. Oh, no, I like some cameras. of these. I like crowds. I yeah, crowd. crowd I like. Yeah, crowds are, are are a lot more fun as well because you get the instant feedback. But some of these fucking pretentious assholes and oh. and, and and hollywood has has given these guys what does this have to do with any of our topics nothing but let's let him go because it's shia LaBeouf. no because i it's will LaBeouf. not let jan take up 20 minutes of this freaking podcast on his personal bullshit <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, dude, you do it every goddamn week with BLM. Oh. So fuck you. Oh. <laughs> so whoa, 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 every every stream, every stream, you go into how much you hate actors and how much the. the... Well, there you go. Then we're even. We've had our little fucking moment uh, about BLM. Just and just now we're on the well, well, something, thing. something really important I want to say here. Um, um, Dr. Evil Tarson, how are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Your niggas got really quiet. He did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's Tarson. We never. That's Tarson. We never know if he's talking or not. We don't know I if Tarson's play. actually here or not anyway. I got play. myself a drink while you guys came and I came back and you guys were exactly in the same place as you is, were. Is, My is point that is all we exactly. have to say on Shia LaBeouf? Or? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I, I was coming to it. You mentioned because... my name? I'm the scared <laughs> <laughs> So wait, what did I do this fuck, time? Why are you talking you, about me behind my back? No, no, no. We're talking <laughs> yeah, about Shia LaBeouf behind his back. <laughs> what, you're really? I'm LaBeouf in the same category as Shia LaBeouf? Something. That's pretty shitty. What? Yeah, yeah but... Nice. What? No, Shia LaBeouf basically is acting the fool again. This exemplifies yeah. everything I fucking hate about contemporary... Artists. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's <laughs> what I and, and not not just contemporary artists, but contemporary actors. They don't a lot of the the generation he represents don't appreciate wait, wait, the amount of work uh, writers and other fucking right. What? 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 Shia LaBeouf is the guy with pubes all over his face, right? Yeah. That's me. Yes. Yeah. He looks. Uh, that's awesome. Awesome. He, he, that's lo he looks be. like he looks like uh, Wow Crendor when he's not smiling. Last I saw was him in that Sia music video that looks a bit pedo tastic. Yeah. Oh, mm. there at the green screen yelling. Also, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the don't let your dreams be dreams. Tastic, my new favorite term. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, but he, 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 he exemplifies everything that I I kind of despise about the um, the acting community. No, he is not for me because I've met someone who was actually someone who I was had a thing someone with. Who was more of a prima donna? No, oh, yes, geez. yes, basically yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is... That, uh, that, it was someone yeah. who actually came into the group because she was related to the family, and she was very talented, and she was hot, and she had everything going for her, uh. but because the problem was, everyone kept telling her how hot and talented yeah. she was oh, all so the uh, time. Feed the arrogance! <laughs> So this is why celebrities in general are assholes. She like, wasn't a celebrity. She's a nobody. 
But the yeah. thing is, she's well, no, no, that's what I'm saying. She was a really like, pretty time, nobody. Could you, imagine, <laughs> could you imagine this person actually getting successful and all of that shit being validated? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. This is why celebrities act insane. Yeah. Because <laughs> rather than take into account that random happenstance for the most part got them to where they were, yeah. and they won the lottery, and they got... They, they're, Yes, there are a lot of people who work their ass off to get to where they are. Mm. But even among the people who work their ass off, you're still you're still buying a lottery ticket. Mm. Yeah, it's it's well, luck. It's what? luck, and they and, don't appreciate. Uh, well, that. here's my point about this one person. Imagine, for example, I'm going to bring this person up, and you can hate me for it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Imagine Zoe Quinn, right? Uh, now now imagine oh, a ver- whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine a version of Zoe Quinn who was actually genuinely really, really hot and really, really talented. Okay? So you've already got the basis for narcissism plus the actual skills to accompany said narcissism. So, so, so you're, <laughs> yeah. you're talking about Emma Watson, basically. No, Emma Watson doesn't even come close to this girl that I knew. Okay. In terms of looks or talent, the thing is... See, he was just talking shit about people he knows at this point. Can we get <laughs> no, a no, no, no. No, I'm not. If you Christ. actually let me finish for one fucking second, <laughs> let him roast the what actually happened to her? She had all these attributes, but at the same time, she had so much narcissism she didn't spot the flaws. Yeah. So what we ended up with was a group falling apart because she actually was pushed there because she w- was actually family with the leader of our group and everything. But what actually happened to us is that her career actually went nowhere because she was such a fucking narcissist, she never stopped to listen. Yeah. Brilliant. And that was the saddest thing was she had all the talent and she had the looks and she had everything. But she had the personality quirks that were negative, but they were never pulled into focus, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. And that's... that's... Artemis keeps saying that I hate actors. No, I hate, I hate the typical sort of stereotypical actor that seems to think that they are the center of the world. You hate them more than the Polish. Well, you have to remember, Jan, is like I'm actually a production engineer at the moment, so I hate writers and actors equally. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> You Cause, all cause get we, in the way of what I'm Because we to never do. fucking keep a fucking deadline to to to. To, to kill her. I mean, w- even with a gun to my head, I don't manage to keep a fucking deadline. And that's I mean, that's come on! Four pages! We've got two weeks, and you have to come up with four pages to end this thing so we know where we're going with it! That's all we ask for! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Keld is saying that I'm bleeding the salty streams over to my podcast. Yes, you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm you just need saying. to do the salty stream so you can desalinate. Yeah, I need to. I need to get back into streaming because yeah. Yeah, we got. I'm just saying, like two hundred and fifty thousand pounds into production, and we're on in five days, and the last page of the script has not turned up yet, and the yeah. actors are playing up being complete narcissists. Yeah. When you're in the middle, it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, and I and I know, I know, but the the thing is, I've worked as a set worker as well. So I realize that a lot of people are working hard to get the production up and running. I know this. That's why I, 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 I try my hardest to, to, to actually work as hard as I can for, for whatever, I'm, whatever company I'm working for. But the, my problem with, with a lot of actors is that they don't realize that. And, and no, Shia, no. Shia LaBeouf and... Jennifer Lawrence, they, this entire fucking generation of actors and actresses don't realize how it's much... It's never been a generational thing. No, actors no, I know. Actors, no, it's never been. Always, because I've always please. noticed this. It's like, whenever you get a girl or a guy, you, they turn up and they're really hot, and you go, I really think you are really genuinely hot, and they're always a model on the side. Yeah. And they turn up, it's like, you're actually pretty kind of good... But your attitude is not helping anyone else. No, exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah, and that's that. That's the that's my problem with 
with that type of person, basically, is that... They, yeah, they, because they basically, you got, you got the two sorts of people. you got people who actually have the whole package, but because they have the whole package, they're complete entitled cunts. Yeah. And you've got people who do not have the whole package. They are merely fit and hot, but they don't have the talent either. So you actually together with the talented people because they're both so entitled and yeah. impossible to work with. They may as well be the same thing. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's our Charlotte Booth coverage, everyone. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> finally, finally, before we end the the stream, let's talk about my country because they're doing good. Oh my god, we've talked about your country. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's uh, there are a bunch of Norwegian politicians, most of them from the Conservative Party, mm -hmm. uh, from our government, uh, actually ministers from our government. That we are need to talk about Marco. No, that 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 are protesting against Facebook because Facebook are acting like assholes, like we all know. But it's it's kind of refreshing to see politicians reacting properly, and especially people within the governmental system actually reacting to this the censorship. That that is happening on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Stop using Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a first. That'd be the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I, you know my fucking stance on Facebook. I only use it when I'm when I'm working on a production because it's easy. You to know keep my track stance on Facebook. Why? That's my stance on Facebook. Yep. It's it's shit. All right, um, I'm going to bring up the topic because nobody really brought it up. Um, Markel trying to um, 180 the whole um, immigration thing at this point. Oh, Merkel. I think, I think yeah. that's Merkel. a yeah. big thing we need to talk about. Yeah, before we end it, yeah. 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 One, get into this second. Anyway, um, for the most part, She's trying to, because she's basically watched her party lose where she's from. Yeah. Um, in the elections, she knows that her, her days are not, you know, her days are numbered for her position, and she's not going to win another election to get the same position, because I think it wasn't like three times in a row she's won. Yeah, my actual, my, my dad lives in Germany, so uh, I, I was speaking to him about this. He actually is a big fan of Merkel. He thinks Merkel on domestic issues is, in fact, extremely sensible. But even he thinks is that she's become too much of a uh, Eurocrat. Um, so basically... Uh, like Merkel basically is going... She's... What's going to happen is, is if Merkel has a way, the EU becomes a super state, and because of super state is going to ask all the nations to work together, inevitably there's going to be a civil war. Yeah. So basically, yeah. World War Three is going to happen, it's going to be Germany again. Yay! Fuck you, Asto. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, what I think is funny is even she's trying to turn around on the immigration thing now, and it's like, really? You have been the one person who has fucked the majority of Europe on this. It is your fault. You pushed for every bit of this. You pressured every fucking country in Europe, every country in the world with this shit, and now you want to be like, okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Like, like, like I, I want to know the exact number of gang rapes it took for her to decide that maybe, maybe you didn't think this through. Um... Mm. Maybe it was somebody in their close family that finally tipped the scale. Oh yeah, probably somebody from her family probably yep. got freaking dragged behind a building and friggin' raped for her to realize, oh okay, maybe this will affect me. But I, 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 you know, I'm an optimist and a naive motherfucker. But I don't. Yes, think you are. It, it's it's. I don't. I don't think it's too late for for Europe. <laughs> I, I don't think we're reacting. <laughs> I just love the circle. All we hear is the sarcastic laughter in the background. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's just that. It's, it's you, Ira. It's basically at the same time, every time anyone says anything, you go, 
the corporations <laughs> and the government will work against you. And I do think that um, Europe as a whole, I think, will be perfectly fine. Yeah. I, I think the EU is done. Yeah, EU is dead. Yeah. The EU is dead. I mean, I, yeah, the, I don't, the, the Netherlands is leaving. So the EU is going. And France. Yeah. The France. EU is not going to go away. And it's Spain. going to, to drag, kicking and screaming every one of your countries through the muck to survive because it has corporate backing. Oh, oh they can try, but Norway's See, building fine. a wall. Norway and the UK are building a wall, and we're going to start our own fucking, our own fucking union. And, and where, see, where that's nothing, the thing. Where nothing. You're, do you really think you aren't going to get declared enemies at some point? Uh, they, they, we they, well, no. The the thing is, the they thing is, friends. Norway's not part of the EU. We're we're Have only you? part of we're part of the. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The uh, European they, they Economic They are literally mil okay. Uh, no, they are think... literally militarizing. They are yeah. literally forming their own army. Yes, what can. is the point yes, of forming an army? They are going to go... Do you imagine... Could you imagine the world if they saw them, saw the UK leave the EU and then suddenly the UK, which is frankly... What was it? The number, th number four best military in the world? Yeah. Could you imagine the complete EU suddenly attack the one union that left them? Do you not see that as the death knell for that Europe, that union? Yeah, and the, yes. and the, and the amount after of, World War Three. Yeah, but the 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 thing is, if they do that, they will be fracturing NATO. That's the problem because Norway and the UK are no longer part of the EU. Yeah, uh, uh, Norway never was part of the EU. We're we're sort of like um, we're we're basically the hanger on because we have all the agreements, but we have no fucking say in the EU Parliament. We have an observer role, and we can veto things, but we never fucking do because we're spineless fucking assholes. That's what I'm talking about. There's going to be a point where they start telling people to fall in line. They're going to they're going to do something or ask something of the countries, yes. Where it it's going to be something that's going to be the detriment of all of the countries, yeah, as a whole, and that's when the the violence is going to start. Which it, is this isn't which going is to why end it's going to die. Violence. It's going to die before that's going to happen. And I believe. and you guys you guys think that it's just going to fizzle out? There, I don't think there's any way that's going to happen. They. There's going to be violence before this ends. Yeah, you might be right. It's it's the Germans. They always do this every hey, nice. fucking time. Hey, nice. Yep. Yeah. You still there? Zombie knife. You still there? Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What were we talking about? Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about World War Three. Um... Good night, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I think we're gonna end it now because I'm I'm actually losing focus and my fever. Okay, so let me point the plug here. Now um... you're losing focus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! God damn it! Now even the, our guests are making fun of me. God damn it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, <laughs> Fireside Podcast for me, Gamer of Ages, and if you're lucky, Mr. Lucky won't be there. Please remember uh, the tagline post podcast on Sunday with me and Gene the Angry Penguin. We haven't decided on topic yet, but we will during tomorrow. Uh, thank Shout you, everybody. So, guys, 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 I'm doing a podcast tomorrow, but at the same time, who wants to be on it? I'm going to take Jan. Yeah, if I'm if I'm feeling okay, um, I'll I'll be on. Um, anyways, please pay, uh, please uh, follow all of us on Twitter and yeah. No, don't follow. Don't, me. don't, don't follow. Don't follow at Civilian Sky because <laughs> he's just grumpy. Because um, I'm in pain. God, I am ill. And so is Jan. I have the flu, for fuck's <laughs> sake. I'm so dying still... in here. Yeah.
Yeah. I am literally the gay plague. <laughs> Anyways, that has been the unsolicited opinions podcast. Thank you so much to uh, to Zombie Neath for for um, appearing Nate. today. D- Nate. <laughs> Nate. Zombie Nate. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for appearing today. Thank you uh, to Tarson and Plippy for being our regular guests once again. Thank you to our uh, Supreme Overlord, Dr. Evil, and as always, my co-hosts and constant interruptus, uh, Artemis <laughs> Ira. You know what I, you're best and remember, man. as always, pray the AIDS away. <laughs> I have been I have been your host, the Meerkat Monarch, sometimes known as Jay's Lillivik, and good night, everybody. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Pray the AIDS away? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no.